fire. If you don't put wood, the fire goes off. When you're a champion so young, you don't have responsibilities. Everything is just fun for you, you know, and you have no direction, no guidance. Fortunately, he didn't get the right people around him that took care of him, that pushed him in the right direction. They could take advantage of all those gifts that he has. I'm not ashamed to say that, you know, I had problems. Up next, a former rival lends a hand. Vitor really was looking for somebody to connect to and somebody that he could trust. Started asking me a bunch of questions. He kind of attached himself to me. For two years, Vitor Belfort was in a funk, losing his confidence and his swagger. Adding to his woes, the search for his missing sister, Priscilla, remained fruitless. Five years after her disappearance, her whereabouts are still unknown. We don't have any conclusion what's happened with her. We, the case is still open. A lot of people brought into custody who talk and it'll be just BS and, you know, just people, I don't know. It's just a sick, sick thing that happened. I believe she's alive. It doesn't matter in the body, but in the spirit, she's alive, and God is with her. Everything happens for a reason. God took Priscilla away for whatever reason, brought you know his brand new three kids into the life. When I had my baby, I put her names in my arms, so it's a way to carry them with me. Estou aqui eu comprei. Vou vou começar com a Vitória, tá? Todo mundo aqui falou assim, Davi, você que manda. Dá tchau, papai. Fala tchau, papai. Te amo, tá? Beijo, amor. Tchau, meu amor. Fala assim. Family proved to be the foundation for the relaunch of Vitor's career. I started to see, man, I have a family. I have to think about my future. You know, what, what is my profession? I'm a fighter. My priority is God, my family, and my job. So if God and my relationship with God and my relationship with my family is perfect, it's going to reflect in my business. Searching for a role model, Vitor reached out to a former rival, Randy Couture. Vitor really was looking for somebody to connect to and somebody that he could trust. He said, man, I want to go where Randy trains. Come to America, get away from everything, be pushed. About nine, ten months ago, he found his way in here and uh, he just found a home. Started asking me a bunch of questions. He kind of attached himself to me. Randy Couture and, and him, those those fights, it changed Vitor. But the the relationship that they got through that also changed him and brought him back. All those tools and gifts that he's always had are kind of flourishing again and coming to the surface, and it's, it's pretty cool to see. Revitalized, Vitor has won four consecutive fights. Including a 37 second KO of dangerous veteran Matt Lindland. Lindland's a tough, durable guy, and Vitor put him to sleep fast. He looked like the old Vitor again. What that shows me is that Vitor is able to fight and win at the highest level of competition, and he still has the fire to fight against the top fighters in the world. I think I'm in my prime. I'm, I'm more mature. It's time for him to stamp his legacy. And there's only one place to do that, and that's the UFC. He wants to be the champion in the UFC. You know, he was the heavyweight champion in the tournament style. He was a light heavyweight champion. He wants to get a middleweight belt. The yeah, I'm very motivated to do what I do. 
and I have a purpose to do it now. I want my legacy back. Vitor Belfort is going to be the UFC champion. Coming up, one former champ prepares for another. The most lethal hands in UFC history. There is no way that he can ever keep up to Vitor Belfort's speed. Are my hands as fast as Vitor's? Franklin trying to work it. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Do I care? Not really. Like Vitor Belfort, Rich Franklin was no phenom. The former math teacher from Cincinnati taught himself submission fighting from instructional tapes and didn't have his first fight until he was 25. When I quit teaching and decided this is what I was going to do full time, I could have never envisioned how my life would have changed. Rich won 20 of his first 21 fights, capturing the middleweight championship and becoming one of the most popular fighters in the sport. The world. I've seen, done, and, and will do things in my life that I would have never otherwise uh, had the opportunity to do. On September 19th, he'll have the opportunity to face a man he's admired for years. He was one of the fighters that I watched in the UFC coming up when I was just a fan before I even actually took this on as a professional career. I think the first fight that I saw was uh, when Vitor fought Vanderlei. Oddly enough, I just fought Vanderlei and I'm getting ready to fight Vitor. Rich Franklin, Vanderlei Silva. Rich gave some good shots. Wow, what a fight. I was impressed. This crowd is standing on its feet. He looked good in the Dan Henderson fight, too. Franklin, very strong. And Henderson's breathing heavy. They go the distance. Henderson was busted up for over a month after that Rich Franklin fight. Put somebody on the opposite side of the octagon, I'm fighting. Period. That's what it boils down to. I'm here to fight. Belfort. You know, there's not too many guys that are going to be able to deal with his lethal combination of black belt level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and lethal hand techniques. He's one of the most devastating boxers in the world of mixed martial arts. Vitor Belfort could step out of the cage and into a boxing ring and be in the top 10 at his weight division in any pro boxing organization at any time. Are his hands some of the best in MMA? Yeah, they are. I mean, he's good. Does that bother me now? This isn't like the first time I'm stepping in the octagon against a tough opponent. Vitor's fights can end incredibly quickly. He's one of the most explosive guys in the game. And when he has a fighter hurt, he is a finisher. I mean, the dude moves in. He's a killer. There is no way that he can ever keep up to Vitor Belfort's speed. He's going to slow down as the fight goes on, and I'm going to speed up. That's how I always do things. I know everything that he does. He knows everything that he does. We're going to see who's going to pull the gun first and who's going to shot first. A lot of times things come down to who wants it worse than the other guy. When uh, I'm looking across the octagon, and I can just look at my opponent's face and just see in his face that he doesn't want to be in the fight anymore. That's what, that's what I strive for every time I fight is to take that from him, to take the fight from him. <sighs> Vitor has shown that when you take him out of his game, he hasn't adapted real well. Vitor's got to do something dramatic here. Usually it's his mind. If you dictate the pace of the fight, then he starts to lose it mentally. talking about my weakness and when I lost, how I lost. And that's true, but my weakness became my strength. For me, fighting is a joy now. Terry Martin, champ, said the same thing. 